I know you're getting ready to head out in just a few minutes, so I won't keep you very long, but I do want to go over a few quick safety reminders that will help ensure you have a safe and enjoyable day in the field. Remember, firearm safety starts with good gun handling skills. First, the only time your shotgun should be loaded and the action closed is when you're in the field and actually hunting. At all other times, whether you're watching that dog retrieve a bird, you stop for a break, you're heading back to the lodge, be sure the first thing you do is open your gun, unload it, and leave that action open. If you end up using a loaner gun and you're not that familiar with it, be sure to talk to your guide about how to safely load and unload the gun and the location and operation of the safety switch. Second, muzzle control. Be sure that muzzle is always pointed in a safe direction. Remember, good gun handling skills are something you have to think about every step of the way. As you get ready to head out, a few quick reminders. Hunter Orange, a must. Eye and ear protection, highly recommended. And be doubly sure you have the right gauge shell for the shotgun you're hunting with. Let's go hunting. You guys ready? Well, Bill, you know, I think it's going to be a great day. Sun's coming out. Birds should fly well. Dogs should work well. I think it'll be absolutely great. Planning your hunt and then hunting your plan is an important safety consideration. When out hunting upland birds, a key part of that plan is to be sure you and your hunting partners stay in line abreast of one another as you move through cover. By staying in a straight line, each hunter will know exactly what his safe zone of fire is at all times. Now for the hunter in the middle, that safe zone is sort of an angled cone pretty much in front of me, never swinging too far right or too far left. Now the hunter on the left can swing a little more left, the hunter on the right a little more right. Remember, if you don't know where your partners are or your guide, Never take a shot because you won't know what your safe zone of fire is. When you're out in the field with a loaded gun, be sure to keep your finger off the trigger and don't push that safety off until you've seen that bird and know you have a clear shot. It's important to know not only where your partner is, but also where that dog is. That dog almost always will be wearing a bell, so listen to the bell if you can't see the dog. Remember too, if a bird gets up low, don't take that shot because that dog's just under it. One of the most important things you always have to keep in mind is keeping that muzzle in a safe direction. Your bird, your bird, your bird. Nice shot, Doug. Well, you know, Rick, that was a, a good, clean shot moving off to my right. But you know, one of the things out here, you never know which way a bird might fly and sometimes they'll take off too low, they'll be too low to the dog. Never take that shot, you know. There are lots of birds out here. Never take the risk of getting that low bird. When hunting in heavy cover like this, it's doubly important to keep track of where your hunting partner is. Where are you at, Doug? I'm right over here. Gotcha. Remember, if you don't know where your partner is, you can't take a shot. He was down in there. When moving through steep or difficult terrain, it's easy to get off balance. So don't take that shot until you're in a good, steady position. Remember, keep your finger off the trigger and don't push that safety off until you've seen that bird and know you have a clear shot. A nice hen pheasant, you know. One of the great things about being out here is watching those dogs work. It sure you is. You know, it's about half the hunt to me. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. Today's wing shooting preserves offer a great day of field to newcomer and veteran hunter alike. Just keep in mind that safety always comes first. Muzzle point in a safe direction, finger off the trigger, and don't take that shot until that bird is well up in the air. If you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to talk to your guide. So have a great hunt, and just remember, firearm safety depends on you.